it's uh, kids' parties now. My life's a lot of kids' parties, and the dietary requirements at them, it's just ridiculous. Uh, honestly, her birthday this year, two vegetarians, a vegan, someone who was wheat intolerant and a celiac. She said, Daddy, where can I have my party next year? I said, Holland and Barrett, mate. <laughs> it's the only place left. You're going to have to play past the kale for three hours, dickhead. <laughs> She's obsessed with kids' telly. Here's you, mate. This is for you, this bit. Uh, it's perked up a bit. Um, it's amazing, though, isn't it? There's so many choices now. They're, they're spoiled. There's CBeebies. That's on from six in the morning till seven at night. Right? There's Boomerang. That's on till midnight if you're a slightly shit parent. Um, and there's a new one now, Liverpool. Channel 619. Right? Check this out. Tiny Pop. Through the night. Yeah, that's for the kids who work shifts. <laughs> drive lorries and have just come in from clubbing. Who's watching that? No, seriously, who's watching My Little Pony Equestria Girls at a quarter to five in the morning? People on crystal meth. That is the target market. It's the only people sat there. This is the one where Twilight Sparkle finally finds the confidence. It's a classic. Pass me the pipe. Order some pizza. Kids tell you, it's an incredible world now. Do you know what they've started doing, though? You get involved as a parent. You watch it. You get sucked in. Like, they're, they're remaking kids' telly programs. Like, ruining childhoods. Postman Pat! <gasps> yeah, they're tinkering with it. We, do you remember the original Postman Pat? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, he had time for you, didn't he, Pat? It was like Postman Pat, Bob the Builder, Fireman Sam, that was the trinity. And he, like, Pat was reliable. He never put one of them cards through your door saying, sorry, I missed you. Like, right. <laughs> He never did that shit. He never just dump his mail in a skip and piss off to Weatherspoons. <laughs> He'd never turn up at your house at quarter to seven in the morning with his electronic thing and he's lost the pen. Three months now and he hasn't replaced the pen. Can you use your finger as a pen? No, dickhead, because I'm not a transformer. Sort your shit out. <laughs> we have this conversation every week. So this is the point, right? I turned it on the other day, right? It's not Postman Pat anymore. It's Postman Pat, SDS, Special Delivery Service. He's been privatised. Can you believe that shit? He doesn't know whether he's coming or going now. He's just a glorified courier. The other day he went through Ted Glenn's fence. He's not insured for that shit. That's coming out of his wages. And my daughter's watching it. She turns to me at one point. She says, this is right, this. I said, what do you mean? She says, it's about time Pat had some targets. She's six! <laughs> Targets, right? And, it, and let's, let's be honest, right? I'm not here to defend him, right? It's not hashtag pray for Pat, right? <laughs> we all know he's a shit postman. That's the elephant in the room, isn't it? Because he delivers one parcel a day. <laughs> it's not good enough, is it, mate? That's a shit. One parcel a day. But listen to the range of vehicles they've given him in this new show, right? He's got his, ba he's got his van. He's got a motorbike and sidecar, right? He's got a jet ski, right? And he's got a helicopter. <laughs> One parcel a day. <laughs> that doesn't stand up economically. And that, unless that one parcel is a kilo of heroin. <laughs> it's Postman Pat meets Breaking Bad. <laughs> and he doesn't even help himself. I watched it the other day. All he had to do was deliver some crockery to a school. That was it. And I thought, he's going to do it. He's going to do it, his Pat. His job's on the line. And I went into the kitchen to make a cup of tea. I come out. He's in the helicopter. <laughs> He's winching a dairy cow off a cliff in 80 mile an hour winds. That's not your job, you arrogant prick. Ring Fireman Sam. He's been sat on his ass since the 90s when they put Norman in a young offenders institution. He's had fuck all to do. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.